the trading desk. <laughs> Welcome to the show after the show. All right, Tom. The after Dennis. show, show. Cole Dennis. here. I asked you before. Hi, hi, how are you? It's great to see you. Great to see you. Oh, terrific. I just Hello. Hello. to see you, Julian. Mwah. Okay, so Hello. 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 Can people, I get you a drink? When people, <laughs> yeah, please, I would like that. Um, <laughs> buying stocks right now. Weird is there something to be buying right now? You're sitting out there, maybe you have like $1,000 in the savings bank. You have something that you're thinking about. Should I get into the market? Everyone's saying buy, buy, buy right now. What should you do? Is there something you should be buying, putting your money in? Oh, I, I mean, I'll just, I do. When I, and first of all, I don't give stock recommendations because that's not my job. And I'm not, that's not what I'm qualified to do. But I can say one thing that people do do is they buy um, the S&P 500, right? It's been beaten down. You can buy the S&P 500. There are plenty of people who think it's going higher. And when it goes higher, you sell it at the point that you think you made enough profit. That's what Peter Maurice said earlier this morning. He just this week yeah. put money in the S&P. Because it's 500 <laughs> stocks. So you're getting, you know, if, you be, if you want to be a gambler, you can look at stocks and just look in the last two weeks and you can figure out what 10 really big brand names that I know and trust have fallen the most in the past two weeks or the past four weeks and yeah. then what have the biggest earnings growth projected out from analysts and you can figure out maybe I want to put that money there. But I don't think you should put money into stocks unless you can afford to let it sit there at least two years. Now the average holding on a stock, I think, is three months or two really? months. Yeah, wow. because of all of the so, program trading going on. Yeah, but you Tom, shouldn't be doing it with, that way. You bring up a great point, Thomas. Does that mean that buy and hold is dead now? No, it's not. I mean, you have two strategies, short term and long term. If you're a short term minded trader, you buy stocks, obviously, for the short term. You know, you get a little pop, you sell it. If you look at more longer term, you look at the best companies in the market that have pulled back from this downturn that have done great with earnings, and you buy these stocks on a pullback. Because overall, longer term, these stocks are going to do very well for your portfolio. We looked at this last night on business, uh, Fox Business at 10 o'clock, and almost every guest said buy and hold is dead. But I got some figures for you. If you invested $1 in the S&P 500 in 1966, and you just left it there and looked away, by 2010, it was at $13.34. <laughs> That's twice the, the rise of inflation. If you instead put a dollar in in 1966, and then you're jumping in, you're jumping out, and you miss the five days, the five best days every year, by 2010, that one dollar turned into three cents. Whoa. So I say okay. buy it. That's from Barini Associates. Stay. So That's I great. say well, stay in. And remember, people right now are selling stocks, but stocks are at less than 14 times earnings. They were more expensive in 1990. They're selling stocks and buying U.S. Treasury 10-year notes that pay 2.5%. In 1990, uh, they paid 8.6%. Why would you <laughs> sell stocks <laughs> to buy gold that's doubled in value? Age before beauty, that's fine. Uh, uh, Mike Jarek. Thank you, <laughs> teacher. No, I remember talking to Dave Ramsey uh, two years ago. Oh, yeah, he's great. And I, and I always ask him about gold, because he and I have just run a battle about gold. I think it was at $500 an ounce. And he says, don't, whatever you do, do not buy gold. It's stupid. Had I put about $10,000 <laughs> in, because now it's at $1,800 an ounce. But do you buy it now? As soon as I buy it, do I? that shall be the top. Can we okay? just, yeah. how do you know what's the top? Adorable uh, young That's man my over son, here. Eric. Can we, come on over here, Eric. Thanks, Joe. Let's let's run over here, let's baby. Go, run over here. Do you suggest oh, buying and holding? Please join. Come on up here, you gotta hold it like this, Eric. Right in here. So, oh, thanks. Wait, does he have a tattoo? Nice. What is going on here Start with this? Start what it is and where you got it. What is that? I got it at the zoo. You don't have to lick it. It's not like a lick <laughs> 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 it, everybody. I'm going to lick it. Is it temporary? Did you meet? Yeah, it's temporary, I'm sure, right? Yeah, it comes off. Did you Did you meet the Yankee? Yeah. What do you think? It was pretty cool. Is he? Are you a Yankee? Fan? No, he's not a Yankee fan. Why would I ask that question? I don't even know. You are a Yankee fan, I assume. Yeah. yeah. Is he your favorite player now? Say yes. <laughs> well, he had a choice. To, well, I got to tell you, he had a choice to either go to work with Daddy, who's a dentist. Or a mommy who oh, was coming here please. and got to meet all of you guys. And the, yeah, oh, of course he wanted to come here. Full disclosure, your other kid is with your husband, though. Full disclosure, the other kid is <laughs> with my husband. I would have Father's a dentist. Do you brush your down. teeth twice? Do you floss every day? Yeah, let's see those chakras. Wait, oh. Let me see those chakras. Yeah, oh, to, yeah. All the Amazing. parents are free. I mean, really, they can be a lot more lax about it. You know, Mike, in some states, that's, that's illegal. That's probably, yeah. Good job, Do you guys yeah. have uh, stuff coming up on FBN today? Is that right? 
We have programming all weekend. I know tomorrow night too. You're gonna you'll be able to watch Lou Dobbs. Uh, last night Neil was on. We we just we don't stop. We don't quit. And thank you for asking. The other, the other business cable networks are running things on like the best of bra ever, things like that. But we're we're we're, we're live. Tommy, the, what are you what are you up for? Breaking stuff. Like a movie. That's right. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. That's right, Tom. This was in uh, Wall Street. Wall Street. That's Wall right, Street too. Yeah. Money never sleeps. Tom. How does it feel though to know that? Basically, it's peaked. From there, that's, that's it. It's all the way. I mean, Ask Mike. That, that I may surprise you. Oh. I may surprise you guys. You are nothing but. Uh, that's going to do mother, it for the after the show show. Your mother is beautiful. Where's and Allison Camerata? She'd be very, very proud. Good question. Thanks, Nicole. We'll see you. Thanks, we'll Tommy. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye.